The question says, fruit seller buys a certain dozen of apples at rupees 324. He sold a uh, one third of apples at 33, one by three percentage profit on each apple and sold 25% of the remaining apples at 66 2 by 3 percentage less profit on each apple than in the previous sale. He sold the rest of the apples such that he gets rupees 2 13 by 30 profit on each apple and 40% profit on overall sale. Find the cost price of one dozen of apples. Find the cost price of one dozen of apples. So very complex situation here in terms of the numbers given there. So we have to simplify it and then find out the cost price of one dozen of apples. So what do we know? A fruit, settle, a fruit seller has bought certain dozen of apples. What is that certain? We don't know. What is that number? We don't know. But he has bought some number of apples at Rs. 324. Now let's forget about this dozen uh, as a uh, multiplier there, right? Let's only consider some number of apples have been bought at Rs. 324, right? So cost of n apples. Let's assume n apples. He has bought n apples. We will find out dozen by taking n by 12. Like how many dozens has he bought? n by 12 dozens. But let's assume n apples have been bought at rupees 324, right? 324. He sold one third of the apples. One third of apples is how much? n by 3, right? So this is n by 3. He sold one third of the apples, n by 3 apples, at 33, uh, 1 by 3 percentage profit on each apple. See, 33, 1 by 3 is nothing but one third profit. One third profit on the cost. So what's the cost price of each apple, by the way? Cost of each apple. Cost of each apple is 324 by n. N apples at 324. So each apple at 324 by n. Now he's made a profit of 33 1 by 3 percentage. Any one third of the cost price. The profit made is one third of the cost price on each apple. Right? Now, after that, he sold 25% of the remaining apples. So, so if you observe now, there are there are total n apples. These are being sold in different parts right first he sold one third of the apples one third of n apples right then he is so what is remaining what is remaining two thirds is remaining right n by three has been sold two n by three is remaining now he has sold 25 percent of these apples 25 percentage of these apples 25 percent is one fourth of you understand 25 percent is equal to one fourth of this remaining apples 2n by 3 which is n by 6 n by 6 so he sold n by 6 apples right and what is remaining by the way now remaining will be see he has sold n by 3 he has sold n by 6 so remaining will be n minus of n by 3 plus n by 6 you're getting it total n apples he sold one third n by 3 has been sold. What is remaining? 2n by 3. 1 n by 3, 2 n by 3. Out of this 2 n by 3, 25 percentage. 25 percentage have been sold. n by 6. Yes, no. 25 percentage of 2 n by 3 is like half of 2 n by 3. I mean, one fourth of 2 n by 3. That gives us n by 6. What is remaining now? Remaining can you tell me? It will be n minus this is sold and this is sold. Or 2 n by 3 minus n by 6. 2 n by 3 minus n by 6 will be. Uh, this is a 4 n by 6 minus n by 6. 3 n by 6, which is n by 2 remaining is n by 2 i mean calculations you can do you you understand what we are doing let me explain this to you this remaining is equal to n minus n by 3 minus n by 6 this remaining was n minus n by 3 okay Understanding the question is half the solution, right? So understand properly. Out of n, one third were sold. Sorry. Out of n, one third were sold. This is sold. One third remaining is n minus of n by three, two n by three. Out of that two n by three, twenty five percent is sold. Twenty five percent of two n by three is n by six. Remaining is overall n minus this n by three minus n by six, which comes out to be n by two. Now, what has he done? He sold, look at this, he sold one third of the apples at a profit of 33, one by three percentage on each apple. So what is the profit here? What is the profit in this case? Profit was equal to 33, one by three, which means 33, one by three percentage is one third. Profit is one third of what? Always cost price, right? 33, one by three percentage, you know that cost profit is always calculated on cost price. What is the cost price? One third of 324 by n. 
profit on each apple was one third of 324 by n and how many apples were sold n by 3 apples were sold this is quantity quantity sold is n by 3 profit on each apple is one third why are we taking one third because 33 1 by 3 percentage is nothing but one third in terms of fraction right one third of the cost price 324 by n. so this is the profit first case right then he sold 25 percentage of the remaining apples 25 percent of the remaining apples this is a quantity right this let's say q1 p1 this is q2 what's the profit p2 what is the profit he sold 25 percent of the remaining apples at 66 uh, 2 by 3 meaning 66.66 percentage less profit on each apple than in the previous sale see profit on each apple in the previous sale was one third of 324 by n now it is 66.66 percentage lesser than this profit so which means now the profit is one third of this original profit are you able to follow if the profit in the second case is same let's say how much will it be one third of 324 by n but is it same no it's not same is it more no it's not more it is less how much less 66.66 percentage less meaning two thirds less so from this you have to subtract two third from this profit on each apple that was made in the first case you have to subtract two third if you subtract two third from anything what is left out only one third is left out so you have to take one third of this profit this is all number games and if you are good with converting percentages to uh, fractions and vice versa it will really help right so one third of one third of 324 by n this is the profit made on each apple in case two now he sold the rest of the apples he sold the rest of the apples rest of the apples is n by two this is the quantity q3 q3 rest of the apples such that he gets he gets two one uh, two 13 by 30 profit on each apple what is the profit now this time the profit is an absolute number what is the profit two rupees and 13 by 30 rupees which means it is like uh, 73 by 30 rupees whatever that means right this is the actual number this is not a percentage or anything right this is 73 by 30 rupees per apple profit made and 40 percent is the overall profit 40 percent profit in the overall sale what is the overall profit overall profit overall profit is equal to 40 percent of what the cost price what is the cost price 324 yes or no 40% is like 2 by 5 which is 2 fifth of 324 okay now try and understand this overall profit is equal to profit made in the first set plus profit made in the second set plus profit made in the third set the apples were sold in three parts right so can you say can you say this 2 by 5 into 324 is equal to see profit per apple is this how many apples were sold n by 3 so what's the overall profit in the first set 1 by 3 into 324 by n 1 by 3 into 324 by n per apple into how many apples n by 3 apples plus profit made in the second set 1 by 3 into 1 by 3 into 324 by n per apple into how many apples n by 6 apples n by 6 apples are able to follow 1 by 3 into 1 by 3 into 324 by n into n by 6 apples plus profit made in the third set what is the third set third set simple the profit made is 73 by 30 73 by 30 into how many apples n by 2 apples or in fact again maybe write it there itself so that we can have some space to solve this Okay, what is the profit made in the third set? 73 by 30 per apple into n by 2 apples. This was the first set. Okay, now solve. Solve this and get the value of n. There is one equation, one unknown. You can solve this and get the value of n. Once you get the value of n, you will know that for n apples, there was 324 rupees cost involved. Divide n by 12, you will get the number of dozens bought. And then divide 324 by those many dozens to get the cost price of one dozen of apples. That's what is eventually required. Right? So check now what happens. I think n and n gets cancelled here. n and n gets cancelled here as well. Do the simplification. <coughs> Can 324 be taken common? No, 324 is not common here, right? 73 into 4 is 280, 292. No, we don't get 324 there also. 
Okay, 324 is not common. So let's do the cancellations now. 324 by 3 into 3 is 9. So it goes 36 times, right? Yes or no? We are doing the profit calculation. So profit made in the first sale was 36 rupees. 324 by 9. 324 by 9 is 36. Here again, 324 by 9 is 36 and 36 by 6 is 6. Right? 3 into 3, 9. 9 into 6, 54. 324 by 54 is 6. Either ways. And in the last set, we have got 73 by 30 into n by 2. So, so what are we going to get? Uh, this is 2 into 324 by 5. So, if you see, we get 73 n. 73 n by 3 into 13 to 2 is 60 equals to 2 into 324 by 5. 2 into 324 is 648. 648 by 5 minus 36 minus 6. Minus 36 minus 6. Minus 42 basically. Yes or no? That's the equation. 73 n by 60 equals to 648 by 5 minus 36 minus 6 minus 42. So how much is this? If you take are we going to get an integer value i doubt just check if you take 5 in the denominator here this is 648 minus 36 and 6 is 42 this will be 210 48 minus 210 is 438 by 5 so this is 438 by 5 what is 438 by 5 73 n by 60 equals to 438 by 5 73 goes how many times in 438? 6 times. 17 into 6 is 420. 3 into 6 is 18. Yes. So this goes 6 times. So basically we can now say n is equal to 6 by 5 into 60. 6 by 5 into this 60. So 60. So basically n is equal to 6 into 12. 6 into 12. And that's where I'll stop here because I want actually in dozens. How many apples were bought? n is 6 into 12. Total number of apples bought was 72. 6 into 12 is 72. 72 apples. But 72 apples is how many dozens? 6 dozens. So 324 rupees for how many dozens? 6 dozens. Right? 324 rupees for 6 dozens. Yes or no? 6 dozen apples per bought. He is asking us to find the cost price for 1 dozen of apples. Cost price for 1 dozen of apples will be 324 by 6. Which is how much? 54 rupees per dozen. So 54 rupees is your final answer. Of course, if options were given, we could have maybe tried cutting down uh, some steps here, right? Like, like for example, I mean, if you have to do reverse engineering, if options are given, reverse engineering can be done. Like cost price of one dozen of apples is given as 54, let's say in one of the options. Now we can divide 324 by 54 to see how many dozens are getting coming out. See, it should be an integer value, right? Usually integer or at least 0.5. It cannot be like 6.3 dozens or 6.85 dozens and all that. So what you can immediately do is divide 324 by each of the options and see how many of them are giving integers. If only one or two are giving integers, then you can try with those one or two options do whatever we have done here in reverse format and see if the numbers are matching or not otherwise this whole drama has to be done you can cut down a number of steps you can also save a lot of time because i was explaining it here right it took it, it takes a lot of time naturally when you do it yourself you'll be able to do it faster but always having options is good you can you can verify a lot of things and eliminate the options quickly